Hi everyone, welcome to Bisaya 24-7, your official Cebuano English tutorial on the web. Today is Holy Thursday and I am sharing to you today's scriptural readings to help us reflect on our Christian faith in observance of the Holy Week. This is only going to be a short session as I am only going to read to you the Cebuano Visayan version of the scriptures followed by the English translation taken from the New International Version of the Holy Bible. So read along with me and I hope that we can take the time to pause and reflect on the meaning of these readings. I hope the short video will find you healthy, hopeful, and inspired. The title of today's reading in Cebuano Gihugasan ni Jesus ang tiil sa iyang mga tinunan. Hugas means to wash. Tiil is the foot. Tinunan translates to followers or disciples. So in English, this title is Jesus washes the feet of his disciples. Juan Kapitulo 13 Versikulo 1 Ngadto sa 17 Bispiras kadto sa pangilin sa pagsailo Nasayod si Jesus nga miabot na ang iyang takna sa pagbiya ni ining kalibutana o pag sa amahan. Kanunay niyang gihigugma kadtong mga iya nga aniya sa kalibutan o gihigugma niya sila hangtod sa katapusan. Samtang nanihapon si Jesus ug ang iyang mga tinunan ang yawa ni Hulhog kang Judas ang anak ni Simon Escariote sa pagbudhi kang Jesus Nasayod si Jesus nga gitugyan kaniya sa amahan ang tanang gahom Ug nga siya, gikan sa Diyos, ug muado sa Diyos. Busa mibiya si Jesus sa lamesa, Gihukas niya ang iyang sapaw, ug nagbakos siya, ug tualiya. Unya, naghuwad siya tubig sa planggana, ug gihugasa niya ang tiil sa mga tinunan, ug gipahiran sa tualiya nga iyang gibakos. Miduol siya kang Simon Pedro, ug si Pedro miingon kaniya. Ginoo, hugasan mo ba ay ang akong tiil? Si Jesus mitubag, dili ka pa karon 
makasabot sa akong gibuhat. Apan makasabot kara unya. Si Pedro niingon, Dili gayud ako magpahugas nimo sa akong mga tiil. Apan si Jesus mitubag, Kundili ko hugasan ang imong mga tiil, Dili ka na akong tinunan. Si Simon Pedro mitubag, Kun mao ka na, ginoo, Dili kay ang mga tiil ko lamang ang hugasi, Kundili hasta usab ang akong ulo og mga kamot. Apan si Jesus miingon, Ang nakaligo, hinlo na, o dili kinahanglan nga maghugas pa, gawas sa iyang mga tiil. Nasayod ng daan si Jesus, Kinsa ang magbudhi kaniya, busa miingon siya, kamong tanan, hinlo na, gawas sa usa kaninyo. Humaniya kaugasi ang ilang mga tiil, gisul og pag-usab ni Jesus ang iyang sapaw, ug mibalik siya sa iyang dapit sa lamesa. Unya nangutana siya, Nakasabot ba ka mo sa akong gibuhat kaninyo? Kamo nagtawag ka na kong magtutudlo. O ginoo, o gusto ka na, kay mauman ka na ako. Kun ako nga inyong ginoo, o magtutudlo, naghugas sa inyong mga tiil, pag hinugasay, usab ka mo sa inyong mga tiil. Naghatag ako kaninyo ug panig-ingnan aron inyong buhaton ang gibuhat ko kaninyo. Sultihan ko kamo walay ulipon nga labaw sa iyang agalon ug walay sinugo nga labaw sa nagsugo kaniya. Karon nga nasayod na kamo sa maong kamatuoran, bulahan kamo kun inyo kining buhaton. So this translation in English um, 
was taken from the new international version of the Holy Bible. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. John 13 verses 1 to 17. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord, Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, Those who have had a bath need only to wash their feet. Their whole body is clean. And you are clean, though not every one of you. For he knew who was going to betray him, and that was why he said, Not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly, I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. So guys, this ends uh, today's reading. 
Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Daghang salamat. Ugmaayong adlaw kanatong tanan.